I don't know. How are you today? I guess I slept okay. I had a dream that it was a sh just a short memory from a dream that I'm like looking out a window and um, I see a really big black bull. Like a big bull. And uh, I look at the bull and he's like huge. He's like a huge bull. And Oso, like Oso was there and he kind of just like pushed Oso, Oso away. Like with his head, he just kind of like <laughs> to the point where like you wanted to check Oso to see if he was okay. And then the bull just kind of like stayed there. And that's how the dream ended. Isn't that kind of weird? So I googled what it means to dream about a bull. And I mean, I didn't do a lot of research, but I guess it's about like masculine energy, like like the energy of a man. And I don't know. I only googled it a little bit. I didn't do like a deep dive. <laughs> But I thought that was interesting. That's how I'm starting this video. So that was my little dream story. So uh, I thought, you know, that's my subconscious talking to me in my sleep. I always thought you always had to have a dream when you were sleeping. No, you don't have to have a dream. I don't get feeling pictures in the dream when I'm in your sleep. Say that again. Well, it just kind of happens. It's like, in, it's in your subconscious, you know? So tonight we have softball. We only missed one. It feels like two, but we missed one. <laughs> just clean my window. So, I mean, I mean, yesterday I was kind of like in a different place than I am today. Today I'm kind of happy with, I'm happier today, this morning, after kind of processed a lot of the thoughts I had yesterday. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, um... <laughs> It wasn't like I wasn't happy. It's just like... You you to let it go? Yes. Because you get to a certain point with... Um, well, eventually, like, if you don't... If you're, like, working on things in life and you're getting a lot of resistance, it, if the things are out of your control and... If things are out of your control, you need to, like, think about letting it go. Because sometimes hanging on to the idea, it ends up being kind of unhealthy. And you have to th figure out, why am I hanging on to this idea so much? Why am I, like, why do I want this, you know, this thing so much? And, and what am I trying to do to get it? And I'm a person that if I want something, I try to figure out how to get it. Because when I want something, I kind of feel like it's like a message to me. Like, go do this thing. Or go, you know, try and, and accomplish this thing. So I start thinking about it kind of like analytically. And emotionally. Like, how do I, how do I go and I start a process? Or what do I need to think about and talk about in order to feel okay to accomplish the goal? And some people are more ready to talk about it. Like if you're working with people, some people are much more ready than others to talk about like the different parts of how to accomplish the goal. Does that make sense? Like, cause remember it's sometimes it's just your goal. And even if people want to be along for the ride with you, they may not give you 
maybe the responses you expect. And that sometimes can emotionally challenge you to think about, um, like, oh, if I, if I want this thing, you know, what is it, what is it going to take, you know? And, and if you don't, if other people don't understand what you're trying to do, which happens a lot in life, like you're going to want to try to do things and other people just are not going to understand it. You, you have to say to yourself, well, is it more important for me to have this complete understanding? I mean, like, basically what you learn is like, if, you, if you're going to accomplish anything with anyone else and, and the other person is essential to it happening... They need to have their own motivation, their own reason for why they want to do it. As much as you have your own. And if they don't have that, you're always going to be working harder than them. And so it's really important, like if you're working on a team, and on a team everyone has to work together to be successful. It's the same in life if you're interacting with people. People have to basically say to you, I'm going to work with you. I'm interested in working with you. Um, I'm as motivated about this topic as you are. Or I'm as interested in... I'm interested in helping you. Um, you need to hear that. And if people don't give you that, you have to remember that maybe in the back of your mind, they're not going to necessarily give that to you ever. Uh, speak up. I want to hear it. This happened to me once that I, like, me and my friend, we were on this team, and there was this one person who wouldn't really do anything. It, it was just sitting there, and we really wanted to get it going. And so, um, he asked me to help, and he said, no. And then we just had to do it ourselves, and we didn't finish. Right, and, and but that's. You're be, in that situation, you're being resilient, and you don't know the. Re, but the reasons why they, you have to remember, this is an important thing too. The reasons why they didn't want to help you might have had nothing to do with you. They just didn't see it as. I mean, sometimes it does have something to do with the people they're working with, but often they're just being kind of like, uh, "I don't want to do the work," or "I, I'm not interested in." Um, um, being part of what you want. So, and that, I mean, that used to really bother me. Like, because it, it's kind of like, oh, you don't want to be part of what I'm thinking is important. You know? But, and that's why you'll have, um, you know, you'll practice this stuff in school, like collaborate with others. You know, but what happens is people, people have experiences in life that also like, kind of frees them up like it makes them like tense and it makes them stressed and they stop learning how to give like emotionally or even they lose motivation they don't think they're good enough they they start to have like a problems with their self-esteem they start to have things that hold them back and And then those problems just kind of keep continuing through their whole life, through all the people that they deal with. And it's kind of sad. I mean, um, I mean, but it, I mean, it can be a little bit, but it's more like, it's a little sneaky, a little bit more, you know, it's a little bit like that, but it's also sneaky too in that eventually in life, you're going to have to do some things on your own that you're going to have to decide are important to Sammy. Right? Yeah. And you're going to need to have enough information for yourself to be able to do what you need to do and make really tough decisions. And um, you, you need to be strong enough to make those um, decisions. And, you know, that comes from comes from your family first like having conversations like this with me is important um, conversations with your mom you know because 
we're responsible for you, but we need to help you be strong enough so that when you're on your own someday, that when, when you're on your own someday, that you can make those decisions on your own and you understand why. And a lot of, you know, and that's important. It's just like you have a, you know, you're not making a decision you know, too much for someone else, that it's more, it has to be for you first. It has to be something that, like, you want. And someone else agrees with what you want. You're not doing something only for someone else. I mean, it's nice to do things for people that are like, hey, I'm going to give you some flowers, or hi, let me help you with that bag. But what happens in life is, like, the commitments get deeper and deeper. Like, you'll have friendships that you're going to lose. You'll have friendships that get stronger. Right? And then over time, like, some friendships will even get stronger. And you'll be surprised. Boy, I didn't even think, you know, that friendship would be so important to me. Or, and I didn't think, I didn't, but there'll also be some sadness. Like, I didn't think, um, I didn't think that that person would let me down. And that happens too. So, um, you just need to be ready for stuff like that in life because you have to, you have to be ready to respond. And then as people get older too, they get trickier because think about it. When you're a little kid, you don't have all these experiences. You only have kind of like what you think. And then people, as they get older, they try things out every year of their life. They like... And that's what maturity is about. Is like someone who's 25 years old doesn't have as many experiences trying out what they like than maybe someone who's 35 or 40. So every you know every year of your life, you're gonna have these things that you try that you're gonna gain experience from. And also you're going to learn more about like what a good relationship looks like, what a good friend looks like, and you're going to, you know, people have to learn, you have to have some of these positive and negative experiences in order for you to learn um, what feels right to you. And to be honest, not everything feels right to everybody the same way. It's just how it is. And know what feels right to you you know there'll probably be a time like you like a boy and you know you, you want them to feel a certain way but they might not feel that way and you really feel a certain way and you you know and what happens is people try to impress each other and they try to like do things to make each other happy but people also can be really small minded and take advantage of situations like that um, and hurt other people you know like because your idea of what you want out of a situation might be different than what they want but they might drag you along and, and use you and be, only because you think that you're still going to get what you thought you were going to get even though they had no intention of giving it does that make sense? Which is... Huh? What? I know. Over here. But does that make sense? So basically, like... It's important to, like... Give me one second. It's important to, like, care and give. But it's also um, important to, like... You know, be aware. Have self-awareness of how you feel about something. And also say, you know what? Does this person think about me? the same way I'm thinking about them and do we have like a depth like can we talk about this stuff more than maybe I'm just giving them everything they want when they want it because they want it because that's not that's not too healthy but hopefully you understood some of what I tried to tell you I hope so love you have a good day